Hello, I'm Dominic Pileggi with Wolf, and today we're going to review the installation of Wolf Cap Composite Decking. In this video, you will learn important considerations before you begin installing Wolf Composite Decking. We'll cover the tools needed for the job, typical spacing for spanning joists, and the proper procedures for fastening deck boards through the various stages of the installation. We will also highlight the care and maintenance of your new Wolf Composite Deck. Prior to construction, check your local building code regulations. Wolf recommends that all designs be reviewed by a licensed engineer, architect, and or local building inspector before installation. Wolf Cap Composite Decking is available in four variegated colors from our island collection. Ipe, Mahogany, Coastal Gray, and Light Garoppa. It is also available in five solid colors from our Captiva Plus collection. Potomac Gray, Cedar Ridge, Acacia, Willow, and Redwood. The Wolf Island collection has color variation manufactured into the board to mimic the look and feel of real wood. The product is available in two profiles, non-grooved and grooved. Wolf Island and Captiva Plus collection grooved boards are available in 12, 16, and 20 foot lengths. Captiva Plus non-groove boards are available in 12, 16, and 20 foot lengths. Island Collection non-groove boards are available in 20 foot lengths only. It can be used for picture framing as well as stair treads. The standard tools needed to install wolf cap composite decking are a drill, eighth inch drill bit, circular saw or compound miter saw, carbide blade, tape measure, carpenter's pencil, and safety glasses. For today's installation, we're going to be utilizing the stowaway fastener system. Stowaway fasteners fit into the slot on each side of the deck board, which eliminates pre-drilling and provides a fastener-free deck surface. Joint spacing for Wolf Cap Composite Decking is 16 inches on center for perpendicular applications and 12 inch on centers for diagonal, herringbone, and residential parquet patterns. Wolf Cap Composite Decking will expand and contract with temperature variations. Please refer to our installation guide for a chart outlining those measurements in detail. When installing Wolf Cap Composite Decking, there are a couple key considerations. First, allow one quarter inch space between the deck board and any permanent structures, such as a post. Second, when butting boards end to end, you want to add additional blocking. And third, when using a minimum 2x6 joist, you want to allow at least two inches of airflow for ventilation under the deck surface. For today's installation, we will be using stowaway hidden fasteners as well as color match Cortex plugs to secure the ends of each capped composite board. Let's begin by fastening the outside edge of the first board to the rim joist every 16 inches. We recommend using two and a half inch corrosion resistant composite deck screws. These will reduce the amount of pre-drilling and countersinking. If using ordinary coarse thread deck screws, pre-drill a pilot hole and countersink prior to driving screws. Screws should be driven flush with the surface. Always pre-drill a pilot hole when fastening within one and one half inches of the board ends, whether using composite or wood screws. And never over tighten screws at board ends. Now, on the other side of the board, Place a stowaway hidden fastener into the slot and center on the joist. Install the preset screw at a 90 degree angle through the stowaway fastener and drive flush, making sure not to over tighten. The fastener wings must remain level with the joist for the next board to fit correctly. Slide the next board into place so the wings on the previous fasteners fit into the slot on the side of the board. Make sure the side gap between the boards is one quarter inch. To keep the interior boards from moving over time, we recommend pinning the boards at the center of their length using number eight two inch stainless steel screws. This holds the deck board in place at the center of each board and allows the decking to expand and contract at the ends. Pre-drill in the slot of the deck board with a 1 8 inch drill bit and drive the screw into the slot so it's flush with the bottom of the groove. Now install a stowaway hidden fastener clip over the screw and center it over the joist. Fasten it using a preset screw at a 90 degree angle through the stowaway hidden fastener and drive flush with the clip. 
Remember, the fastener must remain level with the joist for the next board to fit correctly. Next, install one stowaway hidden fastener at each joist location along the length of the board. For installations where deck boards are butted end to end at the joist, we recommend adding an 8 inch block and using a stowaway hidden fastener clip at the end of each board. Repeat the process for each board until the outside edge of the final board is fastened with screws. While Wolf Capped Composite Decking is a low maintenance product, we do recommend periodic cleaning with a garden hose and mild household cleaner. When using any cleaners, be sure to test the product in an inconspicuous area before applying to the entire deck. Let's review. Prior to construction, check your local code regulations. To mimic the look of real wood, Wolf Composite Decking will display color variation from piece to piece. Span joists 16 inches on center for perpendicular and 12 inches on center for diagonal, herringbone, and commercial applications. Reference the installation chart for expansion and contraction allowances. Use stowaway hidden fasteners to provide a fastener-free deck surface. Prevent mold and mildew by periodically cleaning with a mild detergent to remove spores. Test any deck cleaner in an inconspicuous area before applying to the entire deck. A pressure washer should not be used. Fasten the outside edge of the first groove board using a composite deck screw or Cortex plug. Remember to leave a quarter inch space between the boards. That concludes our installation of Wolf Cap Composite Decking. For more information on Wolf products, please visit us on the web at wolfhomeproducts.com.